Well, it's New Year, 2014, and it didn't take long for the distractions to start. That's right. The powers that wish they were already have something new they'd like you to look at rather than pay attention to what's really going on behind the curtain. This week, our feature is Dennis Rodman. The former NBA player has taken a trip to North Korea for some basketball diplomacy and even serenading Kim Jong-un um, yeah, making headlines across the country for being out there. And it's it's interesting to me to note this. For one, as I said, there's a number of other things going on in the country right now that we could be talking about other than what Dennis Rodman's doing. But then you have this other interesting aspect of it where news publications are asking, is it unethical to visit North Korea? Is it unethical for someone, a celebrity, to be uh, going over there and just playing basketball without... Uh, you know, taking note or making strides in the political arena. Obviously, um, you're fully aware that the United States views North Korea as part of George Bush's axis of evil, along with Iran and any other country we wish to eliminate um, for various reasons. So there's an issue with an American prisoner being held by North Korea, and people are asking the question, is it ethical for someone to go over there and spend time in North Korea? Is it ethical? Is it right? Is it just? Now, the funny thing to me about this, again, is that the media, the corporations, the state, the powers that wish they were, the old stream media, for one, they try to dictate to you what your ethics should be. Um, you should hate this country. You should um, dislike these people. But also, looking deeper into it, you, you really have to wonder, why would we want to look into the media and the corporations behind them and the banks behind the corporations and the governments and look to them for our ethics, for our values, for our standards on how we're going to live our lives. I mean, what we should really be asking is, is it unethical or is it ethical for the United States to and the U.S. taxpayer to fund murder by U.S. drones striking and killing up to 14 people during a wedding? We have to ask ourselves, is it ethical for us to support and continue to allow force feeding and torture in the American name at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba? We have to ask ourselves, why do we allow things such as the TPP to continue to be pushed forth? Um, now, nearing, nearing fast track, giving the president untold authority to, to push anything through, the TPP affecting everything from corporations, from the internet to your health care. Is that ethical? Is it ethical for us to have a few hundred thousand people, non-violent criminal, criminals, offenders, behind bars for victimless crimes such as smoking a plant? Is that ethical? You know, these are the things we should really look at and ask ourselves whenever the media and the government and CNN want to talk about Dennis Rodman and ask, is it ethical? And also have you put your, your head up your own ass or your head in the sand and look at and talk about things that don't truly matter right now. Because in 2013, 2012, and 2011, a lot of work has been done by activists and many, many people are waking up to things going on in the world. And the media would love nothing than to keep you distracted in 2014. But I have faith that you will continue to search for information. You will look past the Dennis Rodmans that take place throughout the rest of this year. Look past the different distractions and see what's really happening behind the curtain. Um, I also want to note that Kevin Carson of the Center for Stateless Society, he also did a piece about this, talking about Dennis Rodman. And he took another angle, which I think is interesting, talking about the privatization of diplomacy. And an important point here that the government has failed whether Hillary Clinton, John Kerry, or any other past uh, Secretary of State to, or any diplomats to achieve anything meaningful with North Korea. And Dennis Rodman, although he isn't somebody I would say you should be following or paying attention to, Dennis Rodman is over there, whether genuine or not, doing more work for diplomacy and creating friendly relations than any government possibly can because, of course, we know governments operate through force and through fear. So another interesting aspect of this, we as individuals can create change. We don't need the government to do that. We don't need these large organizations to, to uh, establish new relationships with North Koreans or with anyone else. And obviously North Korea, just like the United States, is guilty of some pretty harsh things. Um, and I'm not saying I want to be bedfellows with them, but we have to take steps in our own lives 
to be the masters of our own domain, to realize the potential that is within each of us, and to create the kind of relationships we want in our lives. We don't need a government, we don't need the media, we don't need the corporations or anyone else outside of ourselves to tell us who we should have relationships with and to tell us what to think about. Keep your mind open, realize that there's a lot more going on than Dennis Rodman. And if you can hear this, you are the resistance.